Uh, my name's Claire Qualman. I'm an artist and uh, I'm going to be talking today about my project which is called East End Jam. It's a walking, foraging, picking and preserving project that in which I invite people to go um, out with me looking for edible plants, fruit, berries. Uh, we pick them, we gather them together and then we go into a kitchen, normally a community kitchen, and we make preserves. So we make jams, jellies, chutneys and uh, find other ways to um, preserve the, the fruit. Um, and then there's a second stage to the project where we share that produce, we share those preserves uh, in a kind of public feast of jam that we've been calling Jamboree. And the project's been running for about three years now and it began in a very small way. So I began working on it almost on my own with a very small collaboration. So I was invited to make a walk in Stratford, just up the road from here. Um, and when I was researching it, I was really surprised by the unexpected fruitfulness of the urban environment. So walking through light industrial estates, ordinary residential streets, there were blackberries, there were plums, there were apples, there were sloes. Uh, there was just this kind of abundance of urban fruit. And so I made a walk uh, to show people where those trees were, where those bushes were, where they could gather this fruit. And I shared with them on the walk jam that I'd made. Uh, then I really started thinking about all the sort of interconnections that the project could have. And in discussion with a friend who's a sustainable food expert, her name's Charlotte Jarman, um, we decided to try to extend the project to make it more participatory and to bring a more sort of activist stance to it. So it really became about um, helping people to learn um, about how to identify uh, edible fruit, edible plants in the urban environment outside uh, and also how to make jams with them. And so it really opened up this space we found when we invited people to come on the walks with us. A lot of people said they didn't know anything about it, that they wouldn't know how to identify things or they'd never made jam before. Yet as we walked and then worked together and cooked together, people would begin to sort of tell stories about things they'd done as a child or that their uh, grandmother used to make jam or all sorts of kind of... Uh, forgotten knowledge starts to kind of bubble to the surface. Uh, so now in its third year, I'm uh, starting to work on some bigger collaborations. So through the connection with UCL Culture, I've been talking to uh, a professor in the School of Pharmacy at UCL, whose research um, is about the medicinal uh, use of plants and herbs, but he's really interested in the spectrum between food and uh, medicine and also has a kind of anthropological interest in the way that people relate to uh, plants and and how knowledge is kind of shared about them and then also with uh, some really amazing uh, people who are chefs they work for a local primary school in Hackney and um, with them, I'm working to see how we can bring foraging workshops and jam making workshops into the school. So working with children aged between uh, four and 11, um, again, with this kind of aim of engaging them with the abundance of edible plants that are on our doorstep, even though you might consider London to be a very kind of urban conglomeration. It's about kind of noticing and making use of the, the food that's there for free on our doorstep.